is going to take the microphone. Go on, Joey, fix it. It was not on. You set me up to fail. <laughs> now, your fault, because it's the anniversary. We got all these chumps in the ring, and I wasn't going to get on the mic. Well, you're wrong. <laughs> you tell me, like, what you mean what I'm talking about sitting there? <laughs> tell him, Mac Daddy. Our Mac Daddy Duds is just going to run through these chumps just like he said. But do you know that Mac Daddy Duds is so talented he could sell an igloo to an Eskimo? Wait, no, I'm not going to say that. I wrote down your little book. No, I mean, Mr. Spears don't write nothing for me. Submissions occur to make an elimination happen. Must be in the ring. Last man standing is the King of Diamonds. The officials for this contest is Don White Shoes Gravat in the ring. Nick Hunter outside of the ring. And Nick Hunter put up one hell of a fight here tonight in the Diamond and Rough Battle. The bell is wrong. This contest has begun. And now, Sammy Ryan and Mac Daddy Dutch, Justin Zane, and Jerome Maxwell. And a lot of history between Justin Stone and the old school assassin. Yeah, and I, like like Mac Daddy said, I hope he got his rabies shot. Good shot by Mac Daddy. Does so now. I'm going to warn you fans ahead of time. The action is going to get wild. It's going to kind of get all over the place. We're going to call this the best we can. In the ring right now, Sammy Ryan, Mac Daddy does, as you see right here, Justin Stan, Justin Dane, and Jarrell Maxwell going at it. Somewhere on the outside of Stone. Everybody. This Now off road to Mac Daddy does. Sidewalk slam to Sammy Ryan. And Justin Zane up against the post. Now, I, I I believe I'm correct in assuming that Mac Daddy Duds is your pick here. Mac Daddy Duds is my pick to be the King of Diamonds. I mean, he is the King of Diamonds. Look at him. I mean, he, he's not going to have no problem with this competition. The only one I see him really having any problem with is probably going to be Justin Zane of the old school assassin. Other than that, the rest of these chumps are going to go down. If you say so. You say me right now on the fight. Mac Daddy Duds outside the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Sam, Sammy Riot going up top. High risk! That kid can fly! And he just flew all the way to California right then. But Justin, Justin Stone was the only one left on his feet. He's going to take full advantage of that now. All the other competitors are outside the ring. Big body slam by Justin Stone. Like I said, former heavyweight champion. Well, that's because Justin Stone's not that far off the ground anyway. And now, big chin lock. It looks like the action's starting to get wild on the outside. Yes, you are. So who are you scouting in this match, Mr. Well, Big know, cross body by Sammy Wright. If I told you, then, you know, you'd know. Why would I tell you you're a mindless peon just like everybody here in Ocean Springs? Why would I tell you anything? Do you want the wormhole scoop or something like that? Oh, I wish we were in the wormhole right now. This is an extended edition of DCW TV. That means I have to listen to you more this week. And now, and that's Sammy a beautiful Ryan, thing. Big pump kick to the jaw of Justin Stone. Old school meets new school. And now, oh, big exploder. He just turned him inside out. Mac Daddy does have planned. 
Oh, wait a minute. Just insane. Fighting back. Big suplex by Just insane. Kick out by Mac Daddy Dunn. He's still in this match. Big headbutt to the old school assassin. Yeah, look at Maxwell pretending over here. He knows that didn't hurt. You got to have a brain fart to hurt. Oh, yeah, friendships go out the door in this match. Absolutely. And now Sammy Ryder gets the post. Oh, oh wow, he knocked the camera out. Well, I think We've the camera. Action. I think the cameraman was drunk, so, you know. Well, we, we lost. We lost our floor cam. We've got our stage cam right now. Ladies and gentlemen, bear with us. Come on, Brian. Get it going, buddy. Yeah, if you wouldn't drink so much, it'd be all right. Please stop. He's doing the best he can. Now Jarrell Maxwell has Sammy Ryan hooked. Going for a suplex, plants him, and it looks like we're back live. Our floor cam is live now. Thank goodness Jarrell Maxwell with a big suplex to Sammy Ryan. This could be the first elimination. But no, he gets his shoulder up. By the way, if you notice, at ringside, we have a photographer here tonight. That would be Mr. J.P. John Paul with Four Corners Photography. Definitely glad to have him here at the anniversary show here tonight as Jarrell Maxwell going after the old school assassin. And now we're going to whip him off into the ropes. And big clothesline by Jarrell Maxwell. Oh, wow, what a, what a shot though by... Justin Zane. And another thing about JP is, man, he's been all over the world. He's done a lot of good uh, photography. He's done a lot of independent wrestling shows, so you need to go check out Four Corners Photography for sure. Absolutely. They roll up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But why did Mac Daddy does break up the pin? Because he wants to be the one. Look at look at Assassin. They all want to be the one to get a pin on Justin Zane. Apparently so. That, that's literally not the way to do this. I mean, it's elimination. Come on, guys. Get with the picture. Oh, wait. Stone down. Oh, Sammy Rice back up on the top rope. Who knows what that means. Oh! 450 splash! 450. Oh, wait a minute. Mac Daddy does take an advantage. One, two, three stones out. And now, Justin Zane capitalizing. One, two, and Sammy Riot's out. Well, now he can go to bed. And now, wait a minute, Maxwell. Maxwell with the spear. And now, one, two, and Justin Zane is out. We're down to three. We're down to three. The old school assassin, Mac Daddy Duds, and Jarrell, the Beast Maxwell. I think the assassin and Mac Daddy have cut a deal here. They're going to take out That's the loser, Maxwell. Like. Double clothesline by both men. Definitely an odd pairing, but, you know, in matches like this, you see things like this happen. And now what do they got planned? Gonna do a double whip into the ropes and a big double back elbow, just double teaming Jarrell Maxwell. It may just be a matter of time before Maxwell's out. And now going for the cover, white shoes in position. But now, what are we doing, guys? And again. And there you go. Let's take, they said they're going to take care of him. And now Mac Daddy going for the cover again. And just This is not going to be the way to win this match. You know, I was trying to get up with Maxwell earlier today, and I caught up with him outside, and uh, he didn't even know he was having a wrestling match. He didn't even know where the building really was. Just stop. Big power slam. That's got to be it right there. But Mac Daddy Duds breaks up the pin. 
Well, there's only one, and that's Mac Daddy Dudge. That's the pick. That's my pick. Body slam by Mac Daddy Dudge. Uh oh. I'm sure you're going to want to call this. Yes, I am. This is coming. It's coming. The Boogie Woogie Frog Splash, baby. Come on. Do it, Mac. It's the Boogie Woogie Frog Splash. Boogie Woogie Frog Splash. And now Maxwell gets his shoulder up. He's still in the fight. One thing we've learned about Jarrell Maxwell over the last year is he can take a lick and keep on ticking. Yeah, he's too dumb to give up. And right now, could be the Mac elbow. Disgusting, but nobody home! And that could have been exactly what Jarrell needs to get back into this. Maxwell just needs to give it up. This is Mac Daddy's night, baby. And now, clothesline by Jarrell Maxwell. Another big clothesline by Jarrell, the Beast Maxwell, the former heavyweight champion. Mac Daddy does his reeling. And now, he ducked the clothesline of Mac Daddy. And a big clothesline once again by Jarrell Maxwell. And I do believe, Brandon, we're in beast mode. Yeah, we're in cheat mode. That's what we're in. Big spear! Oh, but Mac Daddy rolling out of the ring. That, that was the smartest thing he could have done, honestly. I'm not sure why White Shoes is counting, but this contest still rolls on. We're down to two. Mac Daddy does taking a breather. I'm done. I'm done. Get back in the ring. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Maxwell. Maxwell has him by the hair. Oh, but Mac Daddy does using that to his advantage. Big shot. Maxwell fires back. Back and forth between the two right now. Oh, ducked one. And now Maxwell. Oh, no, no, no. Mac Daddy does caught him. Big poke to the eye. And now he has Jarrell up. Went for the Mac attack. It did not work. Went for the spear. Oh, kick to the midsection by Mac Daddy Duds. And now. Oh, he planted him. Mac Daddy calls that the cash out. Is it going to do it? That's it. Ball game, baby. Your new king of diamonds, my pick, Mac Daddy Doug. Ladies and gentlemen, in our semi-main event of the evening, it is going to be a huge one. Brimstone will defend the DCW Gulf Coast Championship against Mustang Mike. And ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, Mustang Mike is no stranger to gold. He is a former NWA champion. The question is, Will he topple the man who has been Gulf Coast champion here in Diamond Championship Wrestling for over six months now? We are going to find out right here, right now. Fusion is the fact. It's just facts. This is definitely going to be a treat. Like I said, like I said earlier tonight, this is one of the matches that I've been looking forward to all night seeing. And that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. The Diamond Championship Wrestling Gulf Coast Championship. Mustang Mike is no stranger to gold. He looks to add the DCW Gulf Coast Championship to his collection here tonight. But Brimstone will be a tough challenge. We talk about this being Brimstone's toughest challenge yet. My question is, could this be Mustang Mike's toughest challenge yet? And the bell is rung, the official for this contest is Shifty Schilling in our semi-main event. 
of the evening, our four-year anniversary extravaganza. The Mustang Mike has been all over the U.S. He is, I mean, he's just been, uh, he's one of the most decorated independent wrestlers uh, in this area, really. Besides Vladimir Koloff. It's funny you mention it. We'll say Koloff coming up next. But a Colorado about tie up Mustang was quick to get Brimstone on the corner and a very clean break to get this contest started. Remember to use that hashtag DCWTV. Let us know what you think. It's the four-year anniversary. Come on, let us know what you think. Absolutely. This has been a hell of an event so far. We still got plenty more. And now Brimstone. Well, it's really it been a great break, night for you. Clean break. Why's that? Because you got to spend it with the brilliant one, baby. Oh, wow. Yeah, my ears hurt. Brimstone, though, with a clean break after pushing Mustang Mike into the corner. Now a handshake between two. Good sportsmanship. Oh, Brimstone reminded him. I, I, I got the better of you just then. Yeah, the only reason your ears hurt is because you've never heard that vocabulary before. You know, these are new words for you. But once they process, you know, your ears will stop hurting. Hurts, I don't know what hurts worse, my ears from listening to you or my eyes after seeing that jacket. But Brimstone with a nice waist lock, but now Mustang Mike overpowering. And nice reversal into a hammer lock and side headlock now apply. Jesus! Tell you what, Mustang Mike, he jumped at the opportunity to get this shot at the Gulf Coast Championship when, uh, you know, he had the opportunity, and I think this, this is what Brimstone's been waiting for. They've been actually, these two have been wanting to see who the better man is. Absolutely right, and this is this is one hell of a debut match if you're Mustang Mike. Brimstone, a top competitor here in DCW, and he's trying to get out, but Mustang Mike manages to hang on with that side headlock. Brimstone has tried everything from whipping him off the ropes to no avail to trying to get out just then. It did not work, but now shots to the gut, and he does it this time. Shoulder tackling, neither man, neither man goes down. Another one, and once again, stalemate. This is gonna be a challenge for both men. Colorado tie up once again. Oh, what an arm drag by Mustang Mike. Oh, wait a minute. Brimstone was ready, though. Arm drag of his own. I mean, this is as even kill as you can get right now. This match has just started, and I can already tell you it's going to be a barn burn. Without a shadow of a doubt. Went for a big swing and a miss. Must say Mike with a kick to the gut. Side headlock applied now once again. And now Brimstone off the ropes. And Must say Mike manages to get Brimstone off his feet. And now picking Brimstone up. Gonna scoop him up. Huge scoop slam, planting Brimstone to the mat. Oh, Brimstone though, to his feet. And now, with a scoop slam of his own to Mustang Mike. And and I believe that caught Mustang Mike off guard a little bit. It did, I think it got him a little stunned. I'm surprised oh. I don't see Sparkly Jacket uh, scouting this match. Well, you know, the uh, I'm scouting the more, you know, I don't know. Talent is not as close to the nursing home yet. Oh, we stop. Disrespectful. Brimstone went to take the leg out, but Mustang Mike, big snap suplex now. Cover him quick. Shift the imposition. Kick out by Brimstone. Big back and forth. Buzz far between both men. And now Mustang Mike has Brimstone in the corner. And now going after the ribs of Brimstone. You know, I have I've seen a lot of Mustang Mike's matches. I've seen a lot of Brimstone's matches, and I'm going to be honest with you, Andrew. And this is you, you know you cover, get, cover, kick out by Brimstone after a huge clothesline by Mustang Mike. Go ahead, Brent. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be like what? But I honestly, you know, you see Mustang Mike, you see Brimstone. These two are evenly matched, and when you see either one of these in the match, it's hard to see it evenly matched with these guys because they're both very powerful and very. Uh, Strong. Absolutely, I agree with you. Oddly enough, I agree with you. I mean, this is this is a a test, I believe, for both individuals, not just Brimstone. This is probably Brimstone's biggest match of his career so far. But Mustang Mike has got one hell of a challenge here tonight for self. Oh, but a DT planning Brimstone. That could do it. We may have a new Gulf Coast champion. 
One, two, three. No. Brimstone just gingerly getting his shoulder up. And I'll tell you something else about Mustang Mike, too, because like I said, I've seen Mustang Mike many, many years. Uh, he don't just come out and uh, accept the oh. challenge. If he don't think you're worthy enough for it, he's not going to give it to you. And I think, you know, him and Brimstone being as Look at the even eyes. as they are. Look at the eyes. Huge clothesline by Brimstone. And he looks dazed and confused, Mustang Mike does right now. I don't think he expected now. Now Brimstone, side rushing leg sweep. Brimstone with the leg hook. At one, though, Mustang Mike kicks out. Mike thought he had that match until he caught that boot to the chin from Brimstone. And now Brimstone, the champion, is in full control with a chin lock applied. And this is something you hadn't seen much in this match is uh, somebody have the even, I mean, you know, the cutthroat uh, way of uh, having the whole, I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm so damn flustered right now. Why are you flustered? Off this, the is just, this is an off-the-charts match. This is kind of a dream match for the Gulf Coast here. Kick out at one. Mustang Mike, I don't believe, has yet to allow Brimstone to get even a two-count on him in this match. But what I was trying to say was, you know, this match has been going on. It's just been back and forth pretty even, and Brimstone had a little bit of an advantage, and that's the most advantage I've seen tonight. He definitely has the advantage right now now going after that leg, and I know exactly what Brimstone's doing. He's trying to weaken that leg to apply the Brimstone death lock. And I think, and you know, looking at Brimstone, he's got that killer instinct tonight. He really does. You're absolutely right. He, he does seem to be focused, locked in on the challenge and using those ropes to his advantage. And now, whipping Mike into the buckle and continuing the assault on Mustang Mike. And now, whipping him into the opposite buckle. And now Mike's out of the corner. Oh, chop block! One. Again, shoulder up at one. I don't think Mike has allowed Brimstone to even get a two count. I've yet to see it. But Brimstone's all over that leg right now. He really is. He's got the killer instinct. And you know, as dumb as Brimstone is, I cannot believe he's got the wherewithal to just work that leg. And, I mean, he's got a grapevine all over that leg right now. I mean, elbows to the knee. He is looking to weaken that leg. So when he applies that submission hold later on, if he can get it, and he may be setting up for it now. This could spell doom if you're Mustang Mike. He's got it hooked. And now... Shooting a half, and he's got it. Brimstone death lock applied. The death lock is applied, and this is not good if you're the challenger. Can Mustang Mike hang in there, or is there going to be too much pressure on that leg that Brimstone's just been constantly on? Well, this is when you got to ask yourself, is it worth trying to fight out of it? Is it worth it? Do I just decide to live to see another day? But the power of Mustang Mike managing the power out. And now Mustang Mike rolling out of the ring. And now grabbing Brimstone, bringing him out to the ring. And now it could be fight time between the two. Oh, what a chop by Mustang Mike. He just lit Brimstone up. Another a shot to the jaw. Oh, but he hit him hard with a chop. Brimstone with a chop of his own. Mike now retrieving back into the retreating back into the ring. And now Brimstone, double axe handle to the shoulder blades. And now Mustang Mike! Jawbreaker! Rocket Brimstone into the corner. This has been back and forth. Brimstone could be lights are on. I don't, I don't know if anybody's home though. No, I think that may have taken him to another world there. And now Mike has Brimstone up, has him hooked for a suplex perhaps. Brimstone may be feeling the boom. Oh, the power, the power of Mustang Mike, vertical suplex. And now, oh, wait a minute, what's he got in mind? Oh, wait a minute, going up. Going up. Leg, Leg drop. drop. 
big leg drop, and that could be exactly what Mustang Mike needs to win the Gulf Coast Championship. What a debut! That could be it. That could be ball Draped game. Over. Two, three. Oh no, my gosh! I don't know if I agree with the pin. He should have hooked the leg or something. Brimstone has been known to take a beating and keep on going. And that's what he's doing right now. Neither man is wanting the other man to get the full advantage here. I mean, both men want this bad. You can see the hunger in their eyes. They want the win. Brimstone may be getting a second win, though. Kick to the midsection by Mustang Mike. And now, off the ropes. What's he got planned here? Went for a clothesline. Brimstone duck. And now, Brimstone. 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 Huge clothesline. Mustang Mike back up. Eating another clothesline from Brimstone. And Mustang Mike is rocked right now. And now Brimstone has him up. Has him up. Oh, wow, well, wait a minute. Shifty was in the way. Well, that's nothing new. Shifty's always in the way. Shifty's down. This is not good. And now, went for a clothesline. Brimstone ducks. Double clothesline. Both men now are down. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's, what the hell is beautiful Bobby doing out here? He forgot his boot in the ring. Oh, no. What's he doing? Come on now. He's going to knock Brimstone with that boot. Oh, no, Mustang Mike pushed him out of the way. Mike pushed him out of the way and paid for it. What the hell is Bobby doing out here? Super fist. I don't know if Brimstone realizes what just happened. But he retains. What a match. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, it is our main event of this huge four-year anniversary show. It will be the Diamond Championship Wrestling Tag Team Championships defended in a triple threat match. The reigning defending champions, Desperado Davis and Chris Paps, Bounties and Beer, defend against the two teams, former champions in their own right. The Solution, Steve O'Malley and Ashton Spears, and the Pride, Charles West and heavyweight champion Vladimir Koloff. How will this match go? What is in store for these six individuals? Ladies and gentlemen, the action starts right now. Victory in the middle of the ring. Oh, they cheated, they cheated the solution. Is, ladies and gentlemen, that's what it's all about. The DCW Tag Team Championship. Do you see that new set of gold right there in the graphic? The winner of this match will receive the brand new DCW Tag Team Championships. And those are those are some mighty fine looking uh, tag team championships as well. Absolutely, ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening. Oh, it is going to be unpredictable for sure. It is going to be an unpredictable one. But let me ask you something, Andrew. You know, since you're such good friends with uh, Mr. Insano over there, Ashley Spears, did he write your script any this week? He did not write my script at all. But let me tell you, I will say this much about Ashley Spears, him and Steve O'Malley, like I said earlier, truly the wild cards, I believe. It, there's no telling how this match is going to go, especially with those two individuals involved. Well, I can tell you this right now, the solution's already mad. They want to get them tag team championships back. And I'll tell you one thing, Ashton Spears will go to the end of the world to recapture them championships. And then you've got Steve O'Malley over here who has never been known to be nice. He's going to do whatever it takes as well to get those titles back. So the solution, it, it, they are a wild card at this. I'll say that. And there's somebody that's probably being overlooked. This is how we got here, ladies and gentlemen. Koloff and West were the tag team champions until February of this year, when they lost the tag team titles to The Solution. The Solution's been going at it for months with Bounties and Beer, who would finally capture the gold. The Pride never received their championship rematch. The Solution are invoking their rematch here tonight. B&B are the defending champions. The bell has rung. Nick Hunter, a student from the Diamond Mine Academy, the official for this contest. Collar elbow tie up between Charles West and Steve O'Malley. 
We've definitely seen their battles here in DCW to get this main event started. And I'd like to throw this out there for Nick Hunter. Earlier in the show, he gave us a hell of a showing as well. Absolutely, in his first match, so shocked the world. But big shoulder tackle by Charles West and just showing the power that he possesses against Steve O'Malley. And what a way to start this match with Steve O'Malley and Charles West, you know. Two, two big timers here in DCW getting started, but look at Ashton consoling Steve O'Malley after uh, Charles West got the better end of that deal. Absolutely, both former DCW heavyweight champions. It looks like, I guess we're, I guess we're going Lucha Rules in a way. Chris Papps in the ring, letting Koloff tagged in, and now these two are going to get started. Rather the arrogant heavyweight champion. I don't see no arrogance there. He's just oh, telling the truth. Go. I like that. A little bit of a hand sign letting him know that he's number one. Well, he is number one, but these two wouldn't know nothing about it. Collar elbow tie up by Kolov with half side headlock applied by Russian Destruction. Vladimir Kolov, who just, just a few weeks ago experienced a huge Russian chain match defending against Terrell Maxwell. And now Chris Pats showing off the ropes. Huge shoulder tackle by Vladimir Kolov. And now off the ropes, rolling through. Chris Pats side steps him. Went for a hip toss. I don't know if that was very effective. Kolov with one. No! Big reversal by Chris Pats. And now Paps with an arm drag to Russian Destruction. And Kolov charges him, went for the waist lock, but got caught in a front face lock by Chris Paps, who's now hammering away at Vladimir Kolov, and now a chin lock apply. Catching him off guard, catching heavyweight champion off guard, Chris Paps is. Now, I will say this, and I've said this from day one. You can, you can attest to this yourself. I've said I've seen something Chris Paps. I just don't like how he lets these peons, you know, affect his uh, ability in the ring. Flash, but I don't think I don't think Koloff saw that Ashton Spears blind tag and a big knee to the face. Just like that, going for the cover, but before Nick Hunter can get position, Charles West pulls him out of the ring, and I do believe things have already broke down in this match. Oh wait a minute, Chris Paps over the top rope, and now Steve O'Malley clotheslining Desperado Davis out of the ring. The action is everywhere now. And now Steve O'Malley off the top rope. And he just took out everybody. Over that top rope goes Steve O'Malley. And now, oh, wait a minute. Now Ashton Spears. Ashton Spears over the top rope. Out of the ring. And what is next here? Oh, no. Oh, no. Could we see it? Could we see Koloff over the top? He's not thinking it. He's not going to do it. Koloff over the top rope now to the outside. That took out everybody, including the front row. Big flat, but now Ashton Spears going after Vladimir Koloff. Now these two squaring off in the ring. Ashton going for a whip. <laughs> Koloff reverses. Big splash by Vladimir Koloff. And now Koloff rolling out of the corner, in with another huge splash. And now setting him up, Guranagi planting Ashton Spears. Could this do it right here? Steve O'Malley there to save the day. Ladies and gentlemen, the Diamond Championship Wrestling Tag Team Championships are on the line here tonight. Bounties and beer, defending against the pride and the solution. Vladimir Koloff just tagging in Charles West, who is now legal. Where are you going to get? A tag team main event like this anywhere on the independent scene. You're not. Diamond Championship Wrestling is where you're going to get this. And I'm telling you right now, hashtag DCWTV. Tell us what you think. This is the four-year anniversary, and it has been on fire. The leg is hooked. Two count applied. Almost three. Ashton got his shoulder up. Just seeing the power of Charles West, though. I mean, he held him up for a good ten seconds, maybe even more, on that vertical suplex. And now, whipping Ashton Spears. Oh, big kick, though, by Ashton. And a clothesline, jumping clothesline to Charles West. And now tag to Steve O'Malley. So far, the, the champions not seen too much action. No, they're keeping them isolated because that is one thing about it is tag team champions don't have to be pinned to lose the titles. The Solution and the Pride have enough history. They're just wanting to beat the hell out of each other. But it's also smart for Bounties and Beer, too, because they're getting rest while these other teams beat the hell out of each other. Absolutely. And now 
now Charles West in the bubble with Chris Papps just blind tag and now going after Steve O'Malley. And Chris Papps with some heavy shots. Now we'll say it's triple threat rules, so there's there's technically no disqualification in this match. Let's go, Chris! And now Chris Papps, big boot to the yeah. corner. Steve O'Malley is reeling right now, and now German suplex by Chris Papps. What a German suplex on O'Malley. That may have sent O'Malley into another orbit. One, two. Oh, the two count before Spears breaks it up. Well, Ashton Spears was definitely not going to allow that to go too long while he was down here. Oh, no. I mean, it, it's definitely going to be difficult to try and gain a pinfall in this match with, I mean, let's face it, there's three teams, six competitors in total. I mean, there's a lot, a lot that needs to take place. Big suplex though by Steve O'Malley going for the cover. Shoulder up by Chris Patz. Ladies and gentlemen, if the Solution win, they become two-time tag team champions here tonight. Steve O'Malley, like I said, has held all the gold that there is to be held here in DCW in the past. And now, Chris Papps with a tag to Desperado Davis. Double veal out the corner, and Steve O'Malley is definitely feeling the pain right now. And now, leg is hooked, Charles West breaks that pinfall up. A lot of action going on with all these, these six competitors, these three teams. Oh, it's just going all over the place. And I'm going to just tell the fans that are watching out there right now that if you ever Fun want singer. a chance to see great wrestling live and in person, make sure you check out DCW. we got a show coming up July the 10th right here in this building in Ocean Springs, and you're not going to want to miss that. You are absolutely right. Nice Euro cut by Desperado Davis. European uppercut off the ropes. And now Vladimir Koloff breaking up the pin. You're absolutely right, though, Brandon. There is truly no action like Diamond Championship Wrestling action, as you can see right now and all night on this four anniversary special. And now going for a swing is Steve O'Malley. Look at Des Desperate Davis swinging O'Malley into the corner. Oh, big splash, and now he tags in Chris Papps. Beers and Bounty, or Bear, Bounties and Beer trying to do it right now. Drop down into a big drop kick by Chris Papps, who I was going to say has definitely had one hell of a rookie year. Going for the cover, kick out by Steve O'Malley. I mean, in, in his rookie year alone has won the Gulf Coast Championship and now the reigning defending tag team champions here tonight. And let me ask you this, what is the last Diamond Mind Wrestling Academy student, have you seen come out with this much fire and this much steam in their first year? I mean, like I said, he is absolutely the rookie of the year so far. Nine inch nail driver, and just like that, that could do it right here. Yeah. That could do it. Koloff and Davis both realizing the situation. Oh, wait a minute. What the hell is Ashton Spears doing? What the hell is going on here? Things are going crazy. Well, you said no disqualification. Ashton Spears said, well, let's do it then, baby. Someone read the rule book, evidently, and now he's going for a cover. Things have gone mad. There's a steel chair in the ring now. You know, I actually had a fan tell me something about Ashton Spears. What's that? They told me that uh, there was a screw loose in Ashton's head. I said, no, there's a few loose. Screws, bolts, all the above. I mean, Ashton Spears is crazy. Drop toe hold into the steel chair. And the solution have just up the ante in this tag team match. Oh, Koloff though. And now West. And Koloff. And Ashton Spears is down. Things have gone out of control. Oh, oh, dueling shots, but O'Malley got the better of Koloff, who's still on his feet. Oh, not for long and out west. I mean, where are they getting this? Is somebody cooking under the ring or something? Did we have a barbecue before the show or something? I mean, come on. If we did, I missed it. Thank God. Charles West now absolutely devastating bounties and beer. Koloff back to his feet. And I mean, tags are out of the window at this point. I mean, this is just the action is just everywhere now. Now what are we doing? Oh, wait a minute, Paps is down. 
It looks right. Right now, it looks like the pride has the upper hand. Oh wait a minute! Oh wait a minute! Oh wait a minute! Call up cannonball! Oh. The cannonball in the chair, and Chris Paps just got knocked into next week. And that, but that probably took just as much out of Koloff. And now West with the pin. Shoulder up, though, Chris Paps. I don't know how he survived that one. I don't either. I don't know how he moved. I mean, Koloff got everything he had on that one. Uh-oh, and Spears is in. Spears, steel chair to the back. Oh, throwing that at it. Oh, I, wait, did Koloff catch it? He did. Koloff caught it. Oh, he's still to the back of Ashton. Who's still to his feet? Nobody home. And a super kick into the chair and across the skull of Koloff. And he's got, and this could be it. On. West was quick to break that up. Yeah, if West, had, if West had not been in the ring, I don't think I think that may have done the job right there. Oh, good God! Still chair to the cross of the head of Charles West by Chris Paps, who now is hooking the leg. That's got to be it. But Ashton Spears right there to break it up. They need to clear the ring out if they want to get a win because I'm going to tell you something. These guys are all running on adrenaline. They all want this championship. Nobody's going to let this just go that easy. Now Davis. Well, I think, Andrew, I think you went and told him this, and now it just opened up a can of worms. I guess they heard me earlier. I don't know. The, the action has definitely gone out of control at this point. And now, it's a, oh, no, Charles West, nobody home straight to the post. And now to the ribs of Koloff and steel chair to the back. And now what does he have planned? What does O'Malley have planned? Oh, what an action! Good God Almighty! I don't know if that really affected Ashton Spears. There's not much upstairs anyway. But look at what O'Malley's doing here. O'Malley, big body slam by O'Malley. And now he looks like he's fitting in the rookie of the year's career on his in his first year here. Look at this. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Nobody home. Oh. Yeah, that hurt. That had to hurt. High risk. That, that was definitely high risk. Emphasis on the risk. Steve O'Malley in a lot of pain right now. The action has gone out of control in this match. Davis is down. O'Malley's down. Spears barely moving. The pride barely moving. Chris Paps trying to make it to his feet. What a main event it has been. Now Koloff with a chair. Into the gut. Into the gut again. What does he have planned here? Off the ropes. Rush it, sickle. That's it. Ball game. If he can get over you, he's, here it is. This is it. Ball New game. New tag team champions. Somehow, I don't know if Pat's got a shoulder up or if O'Malley broke the fall. Yeah, I don't know which one happened, but I, if, if Pat's kicked out of that, I don't understand how. I mean, he, he must have just been going off of just instinct alone. And now, wait a minute, now what is Koloff got playing? Koloff, no stranger to the top rope these days, it seems like. But Pat's, Pat's to his feet now. Heavy shots across the skull. What has he got planned here? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not good if you're Koloff. Koloff trying to fight. Shots to the gut. Super Oh, Max. my gosh. Shaking the ring. And I don't know if that if that took more out of Chris Paps or Koloff. I know it took it out of both of them, but, man, it took a lot for Paps to get him up and over like that. Davis has taken a lot of abuse outside of the ring. Yes. But inside of the ring right now, it's just Koloff and Paps who both are somehow. Oh, no, Ashton Spears has a table. Ashton Spears has a table. Koloff and Paps. Paps across the skull of Koloff. 
And now the leg is hooked. One, two, and still no. Kolok gets his shoulder up. But barely, and now Steel Chair the cross. It's, man, it's hard. It's hard calling all this action. It's everywhere. It is all over the place, and I'm just going to say this. This has been one heck of a main event right here on the Diamonds four-year anniversary show that, man, has just been incredible. This has been a main event unbelievable. Otto Davis like a house of fire. Airplane spin. Big bicycle kick. And now Steve O'Malley caught. Steve O'Malley caught. Bicycle, or should I say airplane spin of his own? And now, speaking of a bicycle kick, look to set one up, but now going after Cole, I don't know if that's going to work. No, no. I don't know if that was wise. Yeah, uh, Davis has got more guts than brains. Oh, he got him up! Oh my gosh! Look at the he strength of up. Davis! Bicycle kick to Cole up, planting him down! Uh -oh. And now Chris Pabs is on the top rope. Shifting him in air. Frog splash. Could this do it? No, Ashton Spears is right there. And you saw Ashton waiting in the grass like a snake. He was ready to strike. What a main event. I don't know if I've ever seen anything like this. No, here this has been one unbelievable main event right here. And you can only get this from Diamond Championship Wrestling. Bulldog by Desperado Davis, looking to secure the gold. But Ashton Spears right there in the wings with a steel chair to the back. And now Steve O'Malley's brought the, the table into play, into the ring. And now Ashton Spears, twist of fate. The only thing they haven't used so far is the kitchen sink, and it may come out sooner or later. I, I was going to say, don't hold your breath. Oh, wait a minute. Charles West, sick kick. Oh, he just knocked Ashton Spears out. I think Ashton Spears is out cold over there. That sick kick is worse than any steel chair, I can tell you. And I don't know if, I don't know, even if he got, if even if he starts to come around, I don't even know if he's going to know where he's at. Olaf, among, among many, who's taking abuse in this yes. match. Yes. It's been unbelievable. But if you want to see this type of action, July the 10th is your chance to see it at the Ryan D Center in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Make sure you're there for that. You can see live action just like this. What a main event right here on the DCW Anniversary Show. I know the brilliant one will be there live and in color. Unfortunately. As always, baby, that's what sells the tickets. But you saw Charles West try to put Ashton Spears on that table. Ashton realizing the situation, and now he has a steel chair in his hand. I don't know how he's still moving. Oh, Koloff with the low blow. He was trying to put the exclamation point on Koloff, but Koloff got to him before he could get there. What is O'Malley doing? And look at this. Now, now Pabs is on the table. And now, wait a minute. Koloff went for the sickle. He caught a knee instead. And now, knee to the back of the head of Koloff. He's got to be out. Now, Koloff is uh, pretty much done at this point, it looks like. I, I don't know how he could even move. And now Paps just rolls, the table rolls over with Paps on it. I mean, that was probably smart, though. Get off of that table. And now, with the hit, Koloff with the chair, but Koloff caught it. Kick to the gut. Still, oh my God. And another shot. How is Ashton still moving? Oh my God! Oh! Steve O'Malley just got waylaid with that steel chair across the head. I don't know how any of these guys are standing, to be honest with you. And now Vladimir Koloff is almost like a second win. And now he's got Desperado Davis. Oh no. Don't take that, Davis. Oh no. And Koloff is going back to the top. Desperado Davis is not where any man wants to be right now. And if and if Koloff hits this, I can tell you this right now, Desperado Davis may not see a Chris length of Paps! what? Chris Paps! Diving over the table, making the save for his tag team partner. Oh, my He's gosh. Desperado Davis is back. Oh, my God. He cleared that table, and now they're fisting up. Uh-oh. Oh. Charles West, though, saving his partner from doom. Steel chair to the back of Davis. Chair to the 
ribs of Paps, and now West swinging wide. Oh no, Paps blue ribbon bomb. No, he got caught, Cutter. I mean, you got to give it up for all these teams. Everybody has put in 110% to oh, try God. to capture, but oh, this no. may be disaster for Chris Paps. He, Chris I don't know Paps. if he'll make it through this. This is not good. Sarf Bamba through the table. Will that do it? We got yeah, new champions. We got new tag team champions, baby. The Pride have recaptured the gold. what that is in the other corner like I said it looks like he stuck his head in the toilet while he was flushing one of those blue taps down 